And now, it's time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for today, November 7th, 2012. Hello, good afternoon everybody, I, it's Martin S. 1989 here, now I'm doing this recap today because one, one of my favorite pricing games was, uh, was played today. Anyways, here's, here's what's happened, what happened for today's recap. Today's pricing games were Pocket Change, Switch, Plinko, Coming or Going, Light em Up, and Pick a Pair. Our first contestant was Bianca. She played Pocket Chains for a chance to win, win a new Chrysler 200 LX modeled by Marvelous Menuela. In the first number in the price of the, the Chrysler was in the car was two. For her first guess, she guessed one. For, that was not the second number in the car. Price went up 50 cents. Then she guessed three. That was not the pro not the second number. Went up to 75 cents. Then she guessed four, and that was not the the second number. Pro the car went up, went up to the price of the car now went up to a dollar. Dollar. So, so the next number she picked was zero, and that was cor was correct. Correct. Right, so, then the next number, then. For the third number, she then first guessed guessed six. Or six. That was not 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 it. It so the not the third number. So it went up. Then I, then she ever guessed. I can't remember what was one or four. Anyone who who remember remembers this, please notify me. Me. Well, one of those wrong numbers. That wasn't not. Well, one of them. The price went up again to one fifty. So then she guessed three, and that and that was correct. Act. Then on her next, next. Then for the fourth number, she guessed one, and that was correct. And for the final number, she Bianca guessed six, and that was, and that was the correct number. So, the actual retail price of the Chrysler was twenty thousand three hundred sixteen dollars. Now she needed a dollar fifty in order to win the car in pocket change in order to win the car. Her first. Envelope contained. She already had 25 cents to begin with. Her first envelope contained 50 cents. She was now up to 75. Then the next envelope contained a quarter, which she she which meant she was now up to a dollar. Now she only needed 50 more cents to get it. So the audience was chanting. The next envelope, unfortunately, it contained no pocket change. So she stayed at a dollar. So therefore. This last pocket envelope either had to have fifty cents, seventy-five cents, or or two dollars in there in order to win. Win. And when Drew revealed the final envelope, unfortunately, it turned out to be a nickel, five cents. It told to a dollar five, and she ended up losing the game. Game. Ah, too bad. All right. Next contestant was Charles. He played Switch for a chance to win a new off-road rotor sco scooter and a brand new HDTV. V. Both prizes were modeled by Manuela and Amber. They were also the, were the only two models on today's show. We did not know Gwendolyn nor, nor Rachel. Okay. He Charles first originally decided to switch him at first, but then the crowd somewhat didn't like that. Then he, then he. Then he asked Drew if he could change him back, and Drew actually said yes, so he then changed it back to the way they were to begin with. And so that's what his ultimate decision was. So he ultimately ended up keeping them the way they were. And when... Were. Now, the original prices that they listed at the scooter were, were for $1,988 for the scooter and $3,149 for the television. So, and when, when the models revealed the prices, Char... Char Char Charles He ended up becoming a winner because he was lucky he, it was a good thing to get to bring the prices back to the way they were. The scooter was priced at nineteen eighty eight and the HGTV was priced at three thousand one forty nine. Great job uh, for Charles. Alright. Now Patrice, no, and this is a female Patrice, so no so no, it's not Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins. Patrice, she played Plinko for a chance to win up to fifty thousand dollars in cash. So now, for her first, in, a, in, a, in an attempt to get her first chip, she 
The first pro small prize was a Five Little Monkeys board game. Board game. game. It, uh, she, she said that the price ended with a seven. And it was correct. It was $27. She won a chip there. Then we had a cast iron press in which she she believed the, the, he, that the price started with a one. And one and that was correct. I think that's right. I, and that was correct. That was $15. Won another chip. My Next she got... Next w small prize was a microwave. She guessed that it ended with a 5 and not started with a 9. And she was correct again. She now had... F so she won a third chip. And totaling it up to 4. And this last prize was a yogurt, ma yogurt maker. Not priced at $70. She believed... The price started with a seven and ended and not and not ended with a zero. Unfortunately, the price was sixty dollars, so she did not win the last chip. But it was good. She still had four. She had four out of five chips won in Plinko. Okay. Now for her first chip, her first Plinko chip landed in one thousand dollars in cash. Then for her second chip, it landed in ten thousand dollars in cash. Uh, but unfortunately, that was all she could win in the cash because unfortunately, the next two Plinko chips each landed in the big fat zero. But either way, but that's okay. She still did pretty good. She won eleven thousand dollars in cash in Plinko, and with that, that will go down as an actual win. Okay, next, next, Marie was our, was the next contestant. She played coming or going for a chance to win a trip to. Ho Hawaii. E. She chose the going price of seven thousand five thirty six x instead of the coming price of six thousand three hundred fifty seven. And when the actual retail price was revealed, it turned out to be seven thousand five hundred thirty six dollars. Marie became a winner, so she's going to Hawaii. Aloha. Next. Next up was Martina, and she played Line em Up for a chance to win a new ma new mountain bike pr priced at $689, an office shredder priced at $46, so a bed smoker, if I'm not, that's if I'm not mistaken, priced at $937, and, and finally, a new Honda Fit, as modeled by Awesome Amber. Amber, so... The first price in the first number in the price of, of the Honda was a one, and the last number in, was a nine. In her first attempt, she originally had it lined up. She originally set to eighteen thousand four ninety nine, but then she uh, chose to change it to eighteen thousand six ninety nine. Nine. Now that was not the price of the Honda Fit, and but furthermore, she did not have any numbers right. But that's okay. She had a second chance. So now we knew we so now we knew that the third number was a 4. So she then showed, changed the 8 to a 6 and the and the 9 to a 3, making the new price so the Honda fit $16,439. And when the price of the Honda was revealed, revealed revealed Amber had some great news for her. Her. She had great news because she became a winner! $16,439 was the price of the car! Great job, Martina! Finally, Matthew played Pick a Pair for a chance to win kitchen appliances and groceries for a year valued at $7,144. Now, as we know, Matthew was originally from the, who is originally from the Boston area, but now lives in Las Vegas working the trash. Yes. For his first attempt at pairing up, up, up he chose the, the glad trash bags. They were priced at ten thirty four. Then he chose to to choose the razor kit, and that unfortunately was priced at eight ninety nine. But lucky though, he still had another chance. So for a second chance, he decided to keep the razor kit instead of the trash bags, and he ended up pairing it up with the bear aspirin. And when the price of the bear aspirin was revealed, it turned out to be ah, oh, ten thirty four, or so, 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 the price that she should that he should have paired up with with was the deodorant, or 
You know what else? Matthew should have also kept the trash bags instead of the ra razor kit. Had he kept the trash bags and paired that up with the bear, then he would have won. Well, too bad. But, either way, we had a great show today. We had four pricing games won. So, therefore, Charles, Patrice, Marie, and Martina are the MVPs of the, of the show. There, we don't have any contestant recognitions, though, because there were no consolation wins. Wins Well, since Plinko did go down as an actual win. And, Marie, and we also gave away, away $12,000 in cash. Cash, which was all won by Patrice. As I said, the $11,000 won in Plinko, plus Patrice also won an additional $1,000 in the first showcase showdown. Now, she got this bonus. This is one of the few times where she also got some bonus spin after a spinoff, since she was faced in a spinoff with Charles. Likewise, as for Marie, he, she really was great, because Marie, in addition to her coming or going win, Marie also won her showcase, which involved a bunch of workout clothes, a home gym, and a trip to St. Croix. Croix, Marie's bid... Marie bid $21,000 for her showcase. The actual retail price of the showcase was... $21,981, a difference of only $981. Very good bid. And so Marie won a grand total of $30,502 in winnings. Winnings today in, in cash and in, in, ca in prizes. So, so great job for her. Well, it also a couple... And also, for a couple f f other things I need to mention, mention this was also the first playing of the season, uh, season, season for pick a pair. So, so I actually, so I was kind of, kind of like unexpectedly had the honors of doing this as well. I, I didn't know who was going to do the honors for the first playing of it if it was played, played. But either way. At least, at least, uh, at least now someone did get to do it, and it was me. Me, thanks. Well, I also have some other other announcements regarding future pricing game recaps. If I ever do any other future pricing game recaps, and well, of course, future recaps won't necessarily have Plinko in them because this game is not technically reserved for me. But I plan to do another pricing game recap. Recap the next time either. Squeeze play, bonus game, or master key gets a playing, but however, any playings of these will not occur until at least next week. Week if I want to do it, because I don't want to do I don't want to do another I only want to do just one recap this week. Week, so just to make things easier. So if but if and we know squeeze play was already played back on Monday's show. But if Master Key or Bonus Game gets a playing this week, week then 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 Mr. Horgan can can recap those games for this week, unless us other certain pricing games get played during during the week week. Because 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 if Secret X gets played, Sports Guy Five Twenty Eight will do the recap on his on his backup channel. And all, as well as a few others that that Stephen likes, and as long and if he's not busy, is he? If Free Strikes gets played, Neil Rocks eighty seven will will do it, as Mr. Horgan stated. But other, otherwise, otherwise, Mr. Horgan should be back for tomorrow's tomorrow's recap. Recap that is as long as that is as long as none of the, neither of those two games get a playing. Playing. Well, anyways, there you go. That's the price. That's my Price is Right pricing game recap for today. Thanks for watching, and as both Bob Barker and Drew Carey say, this is Martin S5. <coughs> this is Martin S5 1989 reminding you to help control the pet population. Don't forget to have your pet spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody.